Welcome to 4th Grade History News. Today we are going back in time to 1848. Do you know what happened in 1848? We're going to show you. Good morning. Welcome to History News. Today is January 24th, 1848. This news just arrived. There's been gold from Yakima, California. It is said to be at John Sutter's Mill. We are going to report to John Sutter and his partner Jane Marshall, and they are going to fill us in on the news. I've had this dream of mine to make a huge agricultural colony. I want to be rich by working hard, farming, and trading with others. I hired James as a carpenter to help me build my mill. As I began building, I saw these shiny flakes of gold in the river and along the ditch. James came to me and told me about this. We tried keeping it a secret the best we could. We wanted to work hard for our wealth and not take it from the gold. It was too late. Prospectors started rushing California to find gold. By 1849, nearly 100,000 people had fled to California. Many of these were Americans, but also from China, Mexico, and other places. They called these people 49ers. We are pausing momentarily for a commercial break. Are you tired when your pencil snaps every time you take a test? Have you heard of fourth grade pencil insurance? If you sign up today, you can save 15% or more. Welcome back. These prospectors made 10 times more money than working a normal job. While searching for gold, they used tools such as stamps, rockers, pickaxes, drills, and pans. Stamps are used for pounding the rocks, rockers are used for separating the gold from the dirt, and pickaxes are made to chip away rock and, and uncover any gold that may be attached to them. When panning for gold, you put the pan under the water, bring it up, shake it back and forth. All the gold goes to the bottom of the pan. Other materials go to the top. This makes it easy for them to identify the gold. Business owners who sold supplies to the miners often became wealthier than the miners themselves. This is because businesses were able to sell the supplies for very high prices, since everyone was willing to pay for it to be able to find the gold. Whenever gold was discovered in an area, people fled. This is how boom towns became known. Miners would move in and set up a mining camp. They would settle and the town quickly came to life. Two of these boom towns were San Francisco and Columbia. As quickly as boom towns started, so did ghost towns. Boom towns would soon enough turn into a ghost town, meaning when the gold ran out, miners would leave to find a new area to strike gold. This left many towns empty and with visible remains of searching for gold. We'll be right back after this commercial break. I can never get this problem right. Have you tried smart gum? My mom said it was magically smart. Yes! Try fourth grade smart gum today. Welcome back. Finding the gold changed California forever. It grew the territory large enough to become a statehood. However, this changed John Sutter and James Marshall's lives drastically. I wish we never would have found the gold. My worst fear came true. My workers left, the 49ers overtook my land, and my crops and livestock were stolen, and my mill failed. We were left with nothing. Some would say penniless. Welcome back to 2021. Thank you for tuning in to fourth grade history news. We hope you enjoyed and learned a little how the California Gold Rush went down. See you next time.